What's going on my dudes? Welcome to the channel. I'm Quinny Bags, and today my dudes, I'm going to be teaching you everything you need to know about ChunkBase.com. Yes, you. You want to learn about ChunkBase? Well, today I'm going to be teaching you my dudes. So stick around. If you guys are wondering even what ChunkBase is, hey Quinny, what is ChunkBase? Well, ChunkBase is actually a program, a website you can use to punch in your seed and find structures and different biomes in your world. So if you're looking for, let's say, an igloo or a witch hut, or a fossil, a shipwreck, or, you know, anything you want to find, you can use chunkbase.com to find it without punching it into creative world and cheating on your world. So let's get started and let's go on their website and show you guys how to get started. Now quickly, before we get started, dudes, if you can smash that like button for Quinny, let's try to get 100 likes in the first week of this video. And uh, also, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that sub button because I really appreciate it. All right, here we are on chunkbase.com, my dudes. Now, this is what I was talking about. You can scroll down here, and these are all the different things you can use chunkbase.com to find. Now, I'm just gonna do the simplest one today and teach you guys how to find a biome using chunkbase, because basically, once you learn how to find a biome using it, it's pretty straightforward after that, and I'm sure you guys will definitely figure it out. So the first thing you're gonna do is go ahead, let's go to popular, and let's go to biome. So now, this app is going to to actually be able to let us punch in our seed here and then go ahead and search throughout the world and decide what biome we're looking to find. So say you, you wanna find a desert biome, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is punch in our seed. Now this works on Bedrock and Java Edition. Okay, so this is for both users if you guys are on Java or Bedrock. So now let's go on Java and Bedrock Edition and let's show you guys how to find your seed. All right, so for Java Edition, all you have to do is punch in slash seed and there you go. There is your seed and then you can also go ahead and copy it. You can uh, highlight over top of it like this or click to copy the keyboard. The clipboard, sorry, and then control V just to prove it's there. Boom. Okay, so you've just copied your seed now, okay? So now let's switch over to Bedrock and show you how to do it on Bedrock. All right, so we are on Bedrock now and I'm gonna just go to my world here and we're gonna go to the edit section here and we're gonna scroll down and boom, there you go. So as you guys can see on the screen there, there is the seed right there. So go ahead and write that down and then let's go back to chunk base. All right, so go ahead up to the seed part and write down your seed in there. Make sure it is very accurate. Make sure you got every number to the T or else, you know, it's not gonna be accurate when you go and try to look for a biome. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in and hit enter. Okay, so now we wanna go to the seed part here. Make sure that's your seed. And for Java 1.16, I am currently gonna do Java. If you're on Bedrock, go to uh, Bedrock 1.14 and above and just make sure it says here your seed and for Bedrock, okay? So we are currently on the seed that I just punched in for the Java world. And now, as we can see, we can check out all the different areas and what's around us. So if we want to go ahead and filter a biome, we can go down here and we can search through. Now, if I'm looking for plains, desert, mountains, rivers, anything you want. So let's go ahead and look for mushroom fields. That's a cool one. And uh, now, as we can see, we're very scrolled out. But Mushroom Fields, the uh, legend is pink for it. So as we can see here, this is pink right here. So this is a Mushroom Fields. Now, if you're looking for this and uh, we scroll over here, if you look underneath the actual map right here, it'll show you the coordinates for this area. Now, if you double click it, you can actually lock in that coordinates, lock in that marker, and it'll just keep the coordinates and put it down here for you to the X and the Y. Now, if you want to find out how far this is from you, you know what I mean? Obviously, you just punch in your coordinates and you'll just go like, let's say if you want to find like a mushroom field closer to you, let's go 100, 100 or 100. Yeah, let's do 100, 100. And then let's go like this. And then uh, this is you right here. And then that's the mushroom field all the way over there at negative 2000 and negative 4000. So that's the easiest way to find a biome. Pretty simple, honestly. It's pretty self-explanatory as you guys can tell, but I was, uh, I've was i had requests to do a tutorial on this, so might as well show anybody that maybe uh, don't know about it or you're new to it and you just wanna figure out how to do it uh, perfectly, then here we go. So, and I, we can see over here, there's some more, more mushroom areas over here and here. Um, now you can go ahead and left click on the map to drag and pull yourself around. Uh, right click actually does the same thing, I think, yep. 
it does except for it brings up that window um now over here we got dimension if you this is the overworld you can use the nether you can use the end so the end say you're looking for small end islands you're looking for end midlands and highlands and barrens and barrens i didn't even know that was a uh a biome the one that would work good is the nether say you're looking for a certain nether biome this is really really handy so as you guys can see this app is super handy and it's an essential um it's essential for like you know if you're on a server or something playing with your buddies and you want to find something or if you want to do it on your own world personally i don't like to use this too much because i do find it's a little bit cheating but you know it all just depends what you want to do you could consider it as a map to that area now let's go ahead and go back to apps here so as you can see there's biomes slime chunks villages dungeons stronghold mansions monuments pillager outpost mineshaft ruin porter jungle temple desert temple witch hut buried treasure shipwreck igloo ocean ruin fossils ravines amethyst geodes hey that's cool 1.17 that's that's new um nether and end end city we got nether fortress ruin portals bastions and end gateways Ooh, this is cool end gateways that's that's kind of handy that would be your portals, right? That would be uh, very, very handy, as you guys can see. Uh, those would be all your exit portals to bring you back to the main end island, I believe, if I'm correct. Um, you got end cities. Wow, that could be really handy using end cities. Oh, man, that's that's really cool. Uh, I'm wondering what these grayed out ones mean versus these darker ones. I'm wondering if it's a larger to a smaller. Uh, wow, that is really cool. Um, also, you got mansions. So if you want to find a woodland mansion, there you go. Uh, monuments, uh, buried treasure. Now, one that's pretty cool is the igloo as well. Uh, ocean ruins. Now, the amethyst geo. This is pretty neat. Holy! Look how many geodes you got in this area. So again, if you want to get, if you want to do this, just punch in your seed. There you go, and go at it, my dudes. Wow, there's like a geode. And I'm pretty sure amethyst geodes are one in every 58 chunk. That's that's a lot of geodes, dudes. That's insane. All right, so as you guys can see, basically it's all the same, every single one. So here's dungeons even. Um, you know what I mean? It'll tell you which dungeon. So green is zombie dungeon. Uh, white or gray, I should say, is a skeleton dungeon. Red is a spider dungeon. So it's it's pretty obvious and it's pretty self-explanatory how to actually use this program. And it's not too difficult. Um, once you get the hang of it watching this video, I'm sure you guys have already understood how to use it. And it's perfectly like made. It's pretty accurate. I've never had any issues myself. I've actually used it in previous times and it's always been accurate. It's always been super accurate and uh, it, it comes in handy a lot and it will come in handy in your world. Now, one of the coolest ones is the stronghold. I, I think the stronghold would be kind of cool. Oh my God. What? This stronghold? Negative 4,000, negative 6,000, negative 7,000, negative 8,000. Holy strongholds. That's that's a lot of strongholds. Oh, wow. So why are all these strongholds grouped up in the same area? Let's go on a different seed. Wow, I didn't know this. I didn't know this about strongholds. See, I'm learning today. But if you go out, if you go out into the far lands or anything, you won't actually have a stronghold. That's crazy. I honestly didn't know that. I honestly didn't know that. That's so cool. So they actually group together in like this pattern. That is so neat. Did you guys know this? That I honestly didn't. That is so neat. Look, it's like one big circle of strongholds. So in every world, we have like something like 40 strongholds here. I did not know this. This is really cool. That's very interesting. Like, of course, this one's like pretty far away. 2000, negative 22,000. But like, look, they don't like have them out in negative 33, negative 12. Let's, sh oh my God, that is so cool, dudes. All right, well, we learned something new today. All right, my dudes, that's gonna be it for this tutorial on how to use Chunk Base. I hope it was uh, mostly self-explanatory slash me helping you and giving you a hand. Uh, I honestly, you know, recommend using it if you're trying to find something maybe super far away or you're getting frustrated, you want that perfect biome for your start, then there you go. That is one of the best ways to do it. Or if you're just looking for a certain biome to find, you know, a certain mineral or block that you need in this game, right? So uh, I just want to thank you for watching and sticking around to the end. If you did, you're an actual actual OG. Let's go. And uh, thank you very much. Don't forget to hit that like button on your way out. And also, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit sub because we're on the road to 50,000 subs and we're only like 5,000 and something subs away. And once we hit 50k, we're buying a real life Oxalotl. So it's going to be very poggers. So make sure to smash that sub button. 
All right, thank you for watching, my dudes. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Shout out to my dude Pobbins. He actually recommended for this tutorial. If you guys have any tutorial recommendations, drop them in the comment section below and I will give you a shout out on my next video if I use your idea.